Hi everyone, MTS Ahmad here from JobReadyProgrammer.com. So my students ask me this all the time, right? And that, the question is usually, is it worth investing a chunk of money, like fifteen thousand dollars or so, uh, to complete a boot camp program, three month immersive program, to learn software development? And my answer is usually, it all depends on what kind of student you are, and how far along you are in the journey of learning software development. Okay. Because let me tell you, learning to code is actually a very lonely journey that requires you to be diligent behind the keyboard, you know, doing your own thing, going down the rabbit hole, so to speak, yourself, okay? And most of the growth happens on those lonely nights where you're all alone in your room and you're behind a computer scratching your head trying to solve a problem or building an app or an idea and, and you're stuck, you're stuck on something. And sometimes it's so basic, but it takes a while to figure it out. Digging yourself out of that and having that light bulb go off on your head and saying, oh my God, I get it. Overcoming that, overcoming those sticking points and hurdles is what will make you grow as a developer and gain the confidence you need to be proficient in the workplace. You have to be persistent and patient, okay? No one can download this information in your head over, overnight for you to, you know, you really got to do it yourself and go down the rabbit hole yourself, all right? I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Back in early 2000s, I graduated with an accounting, accounting degree, and back then there weren't as many resources available for learning software development. Definitely no coding boot camps or anything like that. Very limited online resources. YouTube was not even really a thing back then, and my educational background had nothing whatsoever to do with IT, nothing remotely to do with IT. I kind of knew how to use a spreadsheet, and that's about it. So I literally had to go through several books to learn software development. And with about one year of self-study and hard work, I was investing, by the way, five, six hours a day, I was able to land a junior level software development job. And I couldn't be more grateful because those lonely nights behind the keyboard typing away paid off huge for me, okay? After all, I stuck to it and that's what you're gonna have to do. I've come a long way since then and I've been coding now for over 15 years. And I've also taught over 250,000 students how to code, okay? Um, and I've also won a top coding instructor award back in 2018 for my software dev courses. So I don't mean to brag, brag but uh, I've been around the block, okay? Now you can check out my courses, by the way, in the description below, but that's not what this video is about. Here's my advice to you regarding coding boot camps and whether they are worth it uh, for the money or not, okay? If you are just starting out and you learned the basics of if else statements and loops and you kind of know your way around an IDE, um, you got to continue self-study. You got to continue that self-study journey because you're not ready yet, okay? Even though you may be able to pass uh, the entrance exam for the boot camp, you might still not be ready because most of the coding boot camps have, have to pack a lot, a lot of information in a three-month uh, curriculum, okay? Some of them say six weeks, which is unbelievable. I don't think it's possible. Someone new to coding will feel like they're getting fire hose with all of this information overload, okay? And the worst thing is uh, you spend the $15,000, after three months you come out with bits and pieces of information and you're lost, okay? Um, so information takes time. It takes time to stick in your head and you should never rush through it. Three months of a full stack software development program, in my opinion, is way too rushed for a beginner because full stack development requires learning a variety of things all right you got front end topics like javascript html css and then some web development framework like uh, like vue.js or or react or or angular okay and then you got back end frameworks like ruby on rails and django with python or spring with java right and that's on all because then you still got to learn restful services you got to know test driven development you got to learn about web services uh, all kinds of web services, WSDL and so on, server-side Linux, commands, security, CS concepts, data structures and algorithms, version control, and of course, the most important in my opinion, SQL for databases. Now SQL for databases is very important because data is now uh, every company's biggest asset. All right? Every company needs data engineers to plan and manage their data as well as uh, run data analysis through, through SQL. That's a topic that deserves its own concentration and many programs rush through this okay many full stack pro programs 
they don't give it the priority that they that they need. Um, I'll tell you a quick uh, story uh, from a couple of years ago when I was interviewing someone for a uh, startup software developer position, and he had graduated from a popular coding boot camp program. I won't say the name. Uh, so I asked him a few questions on JavaScript, and uh, he was able to get those right. He also had a portfolio to share on Ruby on Rails apps that he had built over time. So I, I asked him about describing the data model that was used for one of those apps because those apps were data-driven apps. They required data. Um, and so he wasn't able to even discuss how the data model works, okay? What the table structures are, what the primary key and foreign keys are. He didn't know that. Uh, he wasn't able to do it properly at all, all right? So then I dug a little deeper and realized he didn't even know any SQL which means there is no way we could have him work with our company's data. Data was critical for us. Um, so he told me the boot camp uh, only spent two weeks covering database SQL because the rest of the time uh, was spent learning stuff like data ra uh, Rails data mappings and, and MongoDB and non-relational databases. Here, here's the thing. Almost 100% of companies out there need SQL in their day-to-day -day operations not Rails mappings, okay? So obviously the guy didn't get the job because I realized that he had spent a few weeks on all of the different topics, all right? He knew very little about each of the topics. He had fallen in the trap of, of minoring in everything and majoring in nothing, okay? Because the boot camp had to cover so many different subjects in, three, in just three months and he wasn't ready to grasp all of them. Uh, he had barely scratched the surface of everything out there, all right, in tech. He can speak the language, but he didn't have the knowledge. So uh, the goal for anyone, in my opinion, that's learning software development is to get a job, right? Your focus should be on the major things first, the very important things every company needs. One of those major, major things is SQL. Do a quick uh, job search, and you'll find how many tens of thousands of SQL developer positions are open right now. When you're starting out, your focus should be on data. You're going to have to learn it anyway, okay? Data is a company's guts and glory of, of any application, really, all right? Without data, you might as well not even have an application. So the recommendation I always give my students is to first learn the areas that are most critical for any company, and data is one of them. You can invest three months in just learning SQL alone, just SQL, okay? Databases and SQL alone. And you can get pretty good in just three months and get hired as a database developer within three months, okay? I've got two in-depth courses on SQL that will help you get to that point. The full stack uh, software developer path that I have on my website takes much longer, okay? And it should, it takes about a year for the full stack program because we're learning so many things. So your goal should be first, get hired as a SQL developer, get that experience working in a company, working with data, and then continue learning on the weekends if you want to eventually get into the full stack development role. That's what I preach, and that's what has uh, worked uh, the most, the, the best for uh, most of my students. And uh, you don't, in my opinion, you don't need to spend $15,000 to break into IT. You need to invest the proper time that's required in the major areas that will get you hired, okay? So if you're interested, by the way, in completing my curriculum, you can find out more information on it in the, the description of this video. But with that being said, let me wrap it up. Make sure to hit the like button on this video if you liked it and share, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.